your finger and you bounce your finger up and down to make the puppet move and dance, that's called a finger puppet. Yeah, and if you had a puppet that slips on your hand and you move your hand to make it talk or you move your arm, what kind of puppet would that be? A hand puppet, very good. I bet some of you have finger puppets and hand puppets at home right now. You can even make puppets out of paper bags or out of socks, all kinds of things. There's puppets that make shadows. They're called shadow puppets. You could call one made out of socks, a sock puppet. But what is a marionette and what makes it different from other kinds of puppets? It's because they're operated with strings and sometimes they're called string puppets. Well, the puppets that you see here today were built by my friend Renee, all here locally in the Burbank area. And some of them are very, very old. For those of you of a certain age, we'll say, there's one set of puppets here today that were on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1955. That's how old they are. I always like to honor Rene every year with some puppets that represent his heritage. He was from Mexico, so you'll see a couple of puppets here today that are from that and represent his culture. And then also he was known for performing all over the world, oftentimes for adults, not for children. And so there's a very special opera singer here today that he used to have in his show. And the opera singer has not been performed in over 20 years. So you're in for a treat to see some really special puppets. Now, for those of you that are sitting down front right here, make sure that you stay behind the blue line, okay? And the puppets might come up and, and sing and dance, and they might even want to sit in your lap. <laughs> and if they come up close, it's okay to wave at them and say hello to them. But please don't grab the puppets or pull on their strings or touch them because we don't want them to break. Now the